Why do jinn possess people? Jinn possess people for three main reasons. Number one, out of love. So jinn, they fall in love with people. And this is extremely important for our sisters especially. So for example, you're leaving the house and you're not wearing the correct hijab. You're not properly covered. Or you are wearing a lot of makeup and you have beautified yourself and you're leaving the home. Then don't forget that there are other creations besides men. A jinn may fall in love with you. And this is something very, very common. I had a case where a jinn had possessed a sister she was walking through a park and the jinn followed her. She was waiting at the bus stop and the jinn fell in love with her and it actually possessed her. And when they fall in love, they're very, very difficult to remove because their love is like almost a blind type of love. It's like I would rather die than leave this individual. So a jinn may possess an individual out of love. The second reason why a jinn may possess is out of revenge. So I'm sitting here, I throw something across the room and I can't see but there's a jinn there and it harms the jinn or it may kill one of the jinn's children and as a result of that the jinn possesses this individual so for example there was a 15 year old boy and we found him in the street trying to strangle himself to death so we carried him into the masjid then we began to make ruqya and the boy he was completely unconscious then immediately his eyes shot open and he sat up and the jinn began to speak and he began to say I'm going to kill him I'm going to kill him why why are you going to kill him and the answer was because he was running through the park and it was night time and he stepped on one of the children of the jinn and I think he harmed it or he must have killed it and the jinn was now seeking to take revenge and of course if it had done so then it would have been said this boy strangled himself it was suicide but of course it wasn't really suicide because he was compelled and being forced so this jinn it was a Muslim jinn so we reminded it to fear Allah reminded it that we can't see them and so it was a mistake so you can't do this type of oppression and eventually alhamdulillah the jinn left. The third reason why jinn will possess an individual is due to sihar, due to magic, being sent by the magician. So the magician, he performs his magic and he does acts of worship to the jinn. And then the jinn will say, right, you have lowered yourself and you've humiliated yourself and you've worshipped us. Now, what do you need from us? And he will say, I need you to go and harm such and such an individual. I need you to go and possess such and such an individual. And the jinn will now go and try and possess the individual. So if they possess the wife, then she will become possessed and the husband will be thinking, you know, my wife's character character has changed so much. We never used to argue. Now we argue over the smallest of things. Now she curses my mother. She curses my sister. She curses my family. Immediately her character will begin to change. And this is due to jinn possession.